What's up guys and welcome to another speed test comparison between the Galaxy S20 Plus versus the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. I got a lot of requests for this one. It's time to see how the Exynos 990 compares to the Exynos 9825 inside the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway of the Galaxy S20 and S20 Ultra in case you don't know already. So as always, we'll kick things off by booting up both phones at the same time. Here we go. And... We've got the S20 Plus logo coming up a bit quicker. I just noticed the difference of the button placement you can see on the left versus on the right. Samsung will most likely place the buttons on the right on the future flagship phones as well, uh, which is where I prefer. So, wow, that is about the same on both phones. Uh, no difference whatsoever. I have to say very premium and beautiful design on both phones. The Note 10 Plus still looks really, really awesome. You can see the punch hole is getting smaller and smaller with each Samsung flagship phone. Eventually, we'll come to the point where we're not going to see this at all. It's just going to be inside the display. Yeah, definitely really excited for that to happen. As always, everything is closed up in the background. Uh, this is obviously Android 10 on both phones. Starting with the basic stuff first, phone dialer here we go and that was about the same on both phones settings uh, that felt a little bit quicker on the Galaxy S20 Plus moving on to some third-party action starting with Subway Surfer game and uh, let's see the Exodus 990 is super duper fast whereas the Galaxy Note 10 Plus took some time there now moving on to pinout that's again slightly faster on the Galaxy S20 Plus. Spotify, again, same result. YouTube, and uh, I guess that was really close on both phones. Again, you guys are the judge. When you scroll around, definitely there is the huge difference of 60 hertz versus 120. It just feels really, really smooth on the Galaxy S20 Plus. Next up, we have Plan versus Zombies 2. Again, one of my favorite games to play on phones. And the S20 Plus is done, followed by the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Reddit. Once again, same result. Trying to scroll around. Once again, very, very smooth performance. 120 hertz definitely make a lot of difference. Guys, I tell you, this is definitely one feature that I really want to see on pretty much all the flagship phones that's going to come in the future. Instagram. And that is definitely faster on the Galaxy S20 Plus. Really, really quick um, loading of the feed as well as the app itself. Really nice. Checking out my profile. That got uh, slightly faster load up on the Galaxy S20 Plus once again. Now I do want to point out that I have done the fresh install of the Android 10 on the Note 10 Plus. So it is actually on its best game. Time to check out Insta Camera, And that felt about the same on both phones. The Galaxy S20 Plus feels a little bit quicker. Next up we're going to launch Cora, And... That is slightly quicker on the Galaxy S20 Plus. Next up, we have Photoshop Express. You can see how quickly the Galaxy S20 Plus responds. I mean, how quickly it launches the application versus the Galaxy uh, Note 10 Plus. Uh, definitely interesting, you know. Uh, it is definitely creating, it is really creating that slight difference of speed. Obviously, this is a brand new chipset. So that also does add up to its performance. Now, last but not the least, I'll be launching the cameras at the same time. And uh, that was about the same on both phones. A uh, pretty close difference there. Now, time for the browsing war. First website we have is apple.com. And uh, this is definitely quicker on the Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus. Again, if we scroll around, very smooth performance on both phones. Just the higher refresh rate creates that smoother experience. Just gonna open this link. And uh, once again, the Galaxy S20 Plus slightly quicker with this as well. Now checking out wikipedia.org. Uh, once again, same result, quicker on the S20 
20 plus and also you can notice that immediately when i start scrolling around on the note 20 plus or like previous samsung phones it doesn't like feel smooth right away but that's something that i'm noticing with the galaxy s20 family as soon as you load website you can start scrolling and it is really really smooth all right let's get down to the business of ram management so this is exciting um, usually we do get surprising results, but let's see if these phones are keeping everything in the memory. Phone dialer, that is still there. Settings, still there. Subway surfers, both phones are still keeping it right there. Pin out. Spotify, YouTube, Plants vs. Zombies 2, still there. Reddit, Instagram, Quora, Photoshop Express, and we are back to the browsers. Amazing RAM management on both phones, no refresh whatsoever. Obviously all thanks to the 12 gigs of RAM that these two phones have. I have to say, excellent performance. We do have some good gains with the Galaxy S20 family. I mean, Exynos 990 does bring that fast app launch and that extra pinch of smoothness with that 120s display. It really does make a difference. So uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this video will help you to make the decision. Obviously, I feel like uh, performance is not the metric for the upgrade. I mean, these two phones are still really, really good. But this was just to give you guys a general idea of where the current generation stands compared to the previous flagship phone. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.